Hey guys, back again, trying to knock out another one of these videos. This is another one I've been meaning to do forever, and if you've seen my previous videos, you know that it's kind of been difficult lately. We've had some personal stuff going on, so um, this is going to be late. Sorry guys. This is going to be a birthday slash Christmas haul. And I usually do Christmas each year and just kind of show what I got, especially like the stuff that I think you guys would care about, not like clothes or just random things. But I do want to jump into the Christmas first because it happened first. Uh, this is one thing I got this year for Christmas. My Hallmark keepsake ornament is Frankenstein's Monster, which you guys that have been following this channel for a while know that I'm a big fan of the Universal Monster series, especially. Uh, Frankenstein, Frankenstein, uh, Bride of Frankenstein. So this isn't have any uh, audio or anything like that. It's just Frankenstein's monster. Um, pretty good likeness of Boris Karloff. Looks really great. Uh, that's it. I got that right before Christmas. I also got one from my grandparents, which they've been giving me a keepsake ornament for years now, close to 20 years. Uh, this one, I won't necessarily do the audio. I don't even know if it's... Can you hear me? Yes, monster. Where is Is she safe? Is she alright? It seems in your anger, you killed her. I, I couldn't. She was alive. I felt her. And much like, you know, this saying, it goes on a little too long. Okay, um, <laughs> I really am not a big fan of this part of the movie or whatever, but I'm, it's great that I got this from my grandparents. You know, the first appearance of uh, Darth Vader in the prequels, um, where you get to see him in, you know, the Darth Vader outfit, of course. And there's a lot of um, them playing homage to... Um, things like Frankenstein, and that's what I really like about it, even as far as like how the table works and everything. So that's kind of cool. Um, this other thing I'm going to show you here is something I got from my girlfriend, and I was basically riding the high of the Cabal cut or the director's cut of Nightbreed coming out and being excited about that, and when I saw that Fright Rags was doing this, I got really excited and... I immediately asked my girlfriend, I was like, oh, if you're going to get me something for Christmas, would you please, please get this before it, it sells out? This is just black on the front, and it's a hoodie, a zip hoodie, but on the back, it's Nightbreed, has a great picture there on the back. I think that's awesome, and if you guys know me on this channel, it's one of my favorite horror movies. I went and saw it, you know, back in 1990. And I've pretty much been raving about it ever since, even though it seems like, you know, back then I was like the only person that really liked that. So I'm glad to see that that's got kind of a following now. It's really cool. Uh, one of the things I also got this Christmas, which is really cool, it is a Boba Fett t-shirt. Of course, I'm a big fan of Boba Fett. He's probably like my favorite, you know, Star Wars character. Um, as far as like characters that I really like from Star Wars that most people aren't that familiar with, unless you're you know pretty big in Star Wars, here's an IG88 pin. Um, he is probably like kind of my favorite Star Wars character that really is barely in the movies. You know, he's in Empire Strikes Back for just a little while. IG88 is one of those characters that um, you know I wish he was in Star Wars more. If you think Boba Fett's barely in the movie, you should look for IG88. Here is a cool little thing that my girlfriend got me that's like um, kind of like an optical illusion. You turn one way and you can see like an X-Wing and then the other side I think that is Vader's ship there on the other side. But um, it's a cool little deal and you can turn it on and like close and Ah, that's cool. It's just a neat little thing to have on your desk or something. This is a DVD I got, which I was really excited about because I've been wanting to get this for a while and kind of have been just putting it off. Uh, but this is a JLA Adventures Trapping Time original movie. This was like direct to DVD. But I actually didn't even hear it was coming until it already came out. And surprisingly, this wasn't out on Blu-ray or anything. So I thought that was kind of odd. It's definitely one of those things where I, I'm not really for sure how that came about. 
Um, maybe it was a pilot or something for a TV show they were wanting to do and they just transformed it into a movie. I haven't heard, so don't quote me on that. Um, here's some books I got. I got Tales from the Crypt, um, like a mini comic. And um, Tales from the Crypt is awesome, so even if that's, you know, not up to par with normal stuff, just namesake, I, uh, I love it. Uh, here's the Serenity, uh, Leaves on the Wind, which this was something I picked up in comic form, but I really wanted the hardcover book because I have all of the other um, hardcover books that kind of came out when the little bits of uh, the Firefly Serenity stuff came out. Um, this has been all technically Serenity in comic book form, but some of that took place before Serenity. They put out one that was, that was supposed to gap between Firefly and Serenity, and that came out like 10 years ago. So after all these years, we're just barely getting uh, book four. So it's kind of just a little bit at a time. Um, Funko Pops, of course, Frankenstein, which um, I would really more like say Frankenstein's monster. But yeah, this is the Hot Topic exclusive, this glows in the dark. Of course, you can't have Frankenstein without the bride, and um, she is also a Hot Topic exclusive that glows in the dark. So these are, you know, kind of like matching set. So that's awesome. This figure, which I got this from my girlfriend and her kids. A lot of these things they kind of picked out individually, and it kind of all comes together. So sometimes I forget who gets me what, but I remember her son got me this because... I remember that her son got me this because uh, he's literally been watching me look at this figure for like the last maybe year or so and finally like you know he just got it for me because I you know of course it probably looked like I'd wanted it for so long he just said here just get it and uh, I love it I think it's awesome these uh, six inch black series figures are really good details so uh, probably that's one of the few figures I do want I, I can't collect a lot of those because they're kind of big but um, that's one of them I would like to have that and probably like Boba Fett and IG-88 of course. Here is some of the reaction figures I got and uh, these will probably be thrown back into a video for updating those figures so I'll go over these quickly. I've got a lot of Goonies figures, uh, Chunk, I got Sloth without his hat on. There is a version that I've seen with the hat on, but I can't tell if it's glued on or not. Uh, Mouth, Mikey, and Data. So, or I guess it's uh, Data. I don't know. I, I'm trying to, like, I'm almost completely blank now. But um, the Goonies figures themselves um, are probably one of the few figures I didn't think would ever be made, you know, and I would have loved to have had those as a kid. This is uh, Buffy, the Vampire Slayer. I've got some of these figures you probably haven't seen yet. They'll come up in a future video, but here's the Oz that comes with Katara, the Seth Green figure. And then I also have a Firefly, Malcolm Reynolds. This is the Comic-Con exclusive with the long trench coat. So if you're familiar with these figures, that's the only real difference is the trench coat. That is all of the uh, Funko stuff that I've got for Christmas, but I'm fixing to jump directly into what I got for my birthday. Okay, you're still with me and the camera hasn't died yet. I am going to now show you what I got for my birthday. This will be pretty brief as far as like stuff like this goes. I, this is mostly just stuff with my girlfriend and her kids. But I got a, um, kind of like a little rolling box, or it's like a mini table, it's like hardwood, and it has like a felt on the inside. It's for playing D&D &D and things like that where you don't really have a good rolling place. And right now we play with a pretty large group of people, and we can't all sit at the table. So I got this, which is a cool rolling box, a rolling table. And then I got this dwarven set of dice, um, which came in this package. Currently, I'm playing a uh, dwarf fighter just by chance, so that's the reason I got this. But it sounds really great, and uh, it's just perfect for what I needed. And here's some more uh, pop vinyls. I'll go kind of quickly. Here is the uh, Jane Cobb, which has the hat. Of course, um, I went as Jane Cobb for Halloween, and that's one of the reasons why I kind of wanted this. I, I mean, otherwise, I thought it was cool anyway. And then I also got uh, Cthulhu, which is probably the uh, heaviest 
pop vinyl of this size I've seen. It's slightly um, bigger, like the head and stuff like that, but it's it's very solid. As far as figures go, this is definitely the heaviest um, in Cthulhu or Cthulhu, however you want to say it. HP Lovecraft. Speaking of that, I also got the uh, Legends of Cthulhu Warpo figures, which are done in the classic style. Here's the Spawn, uh, the Cultist, uh, the Deep One, and the Professor, which uh, these are all great. Um, I really hope to see at some point uh, the 12 inch figure up close. There's a 12 inch version, which is like pretty much like this, but it's actually Cthulhu. And then there was originally a design, which I hope comes out, because I think it was like part of their Kickstarter, you know, pledge type stuff. And it was like um, one of those things that, to kind of stretch, you know, the thing out. And it is an HP Lovecraft figure himself. So I don't, I definitely don't have that. I just have the four basic figures, which these figures are... Uh, extremely pricey if you're familiar with these so I'm very thankful for my girlfriend she definitely didn't have to do that I didn't expect to get those and I'm very grateful it's very nice I'm going to show you also some uh, Batman comics I got here uh, here's some Scott Snyder stuff it's a uh, black mirror which I thought looked great um, I'm really excited about that here is more Batman Batman heart of hush so if you're familiar with hush this is uh, more of the continuation of that under the Red Hood, another Batman. So um, this is, um, you know, another one of those. Jed Winnick did this. And uh, here's another Scott Snyder, uh, Batman Gates of Gotham. I was really trying to get back into uh, some pre, you know, New 52 Batman stuff and just kind of reading anything I hadn't read before. And I noticed that Scott Snyder did a few of these things. So he's so big right now, I couldn't pass that up. Then, of course, I picked this up, which is the Andy Kubert. Sorry about the little jump cut there. Of course, the uh, the camera died, and I knew it would, so I'm trying to get through this. Not sure where I left off here, but uh, the Damien Son of the Bat uh, series is awesome. If you have never checked it out and you're a fan of Batman, especially, um, it's kind of a throwback, even though it's set in the future. It's got a lot of references to classic Batman. This is just um, really cool stuff. So if you get a chance, definitely check out this if you're a Batman fan. I'm going to leave it there. I think we've probably covered enough things that you guys are probably sick of looking at stuff. And um, I needed to really get that out there before this went on too much longer. So sorry for squeezing so many things together. Okay, hope you enjoyed seeing some random stuff. And uh, take care, guys. I will see you again next time.